That's right, and this is the robot that'll be heading to the national competition after a big win at the first robotics competition out of Davis. I gotta tell you, if you've never been to that thing, you gotta mark your calendar and go check it out because it is student innovation to the max. And these are some of the students that are heading out to nationals. That's gotta feel pretty good, Tina. It does feel really good. So you guys are the first in your district, is that right, to, to qualify for or to, uh, to win and go to the nationals like that? Yeah, we're the first district in the Sacramento City School Unified School District to go. And what about your team set you guys apart to get you to nationals? And Ramil, fire that thing up. We want to see this thing working. Um, about our team is that, well, one, we had a lot of fun building this robot. This was like a good team bonding experience. We feel like family afterwards. And then also, we just set a design that's simple and sturdy, and more about the robot can come from Josiah. Yeah, Josiah, let's talk to you now. Um, I see there's a number of obstacles. We see it jumping back and forth, and, and what's it doing now? So right now, it's getting over something called the Cheval de Free. Um, it's one of the more complicated obstacles that a lot of robots had a hard time getting through. Uh, right now, what, what you just see it go over is called the rock wall, one of the more simple ones, but a lot of robots still have trouble with that, because if, if you see, um, you know, it's tall, it's about four It's about four inches high, and so getting over that's not so easy. So uh, a lot of students either have to uh, get over it slowly, or like us, have to go fast um, and rocket it through, and that's why our robot is small and compact. This is actually the practice robot. Um, over here in the bag, I don't know. Uh, well, that, uh, this is not our main competition robot. As per the rules of FRC, we can't touch it until the competition. So, And, and where and when is the competition? It is in St. Louis, Missouri, um, over the days of April 27th through April 30th. So wait a second. Now, you've got to get your whole team, which, hello, team over there. There's the rest of the team. We've got to give these guys a shout out. Um, so you've got to get the team, your robot. You've got to get everyone back to St. Louis. Uh, that is correct. So over there, the robot's next to a large uh, crate. Um, that is one of two that we're making to ship all of our stuff to St. Louis. So um, that, that, that's going to cost some money. Uh, that is correct. Well, uh, FRC will pay for one of the crates. The other, uh, we, we would have to pay for the other one. So right now, we're um, looking for uh, funds from different businesses in the community. We have a GoFundMe page, and so uh, we're we're almost, we're almost there. So. Um, it's expensive, but it's, it's all worth it. All right, well, if you've got a business out there and want to help these young innovators get their project back to St. Louis to represent at the Nationals, we got Ramil over here. Real quick, Ramil. Yep. Everyone's been touting your uh, driving and programming skills as well. That's a big part of what you're doing out here. Yep. Um, it's, uh, I did a lot of reading on it, and uh, Tatiana, our head uh, programmer, has taught me a lot on the way, too. So uh, I have to thank her uh, for teaching me on the way. Yeah, so I mean, they're programming, and then, of course, some of it's autonomous, where it drives itself, yep. and then you're driving it with a joystick as well. So good luck, you man, Thank out you. in St. Louis. Good luck, uh, Rosemont High School robotics team. And again, uh, they could use a little extra support. You heard they've got a GoFundMe page, and uh, help them financially get this thing out there, because they got two of these. This is the actual competition robot, which, by the way, was sealed in Davis. See that right there? They can't cut into that. They're not allowed to work on it until they get it out to St. Louis. So go get them, robot. They call it the Triple T, the Triple Threat from Rosemont.